So, purge the guilt. What do we mean by that? The reality is we live in a humanistic society where we view things in bits and pieces. Our culture has taught us human autonomy. People have the right to do what they want with their bodies, or so we hear. The reality is there is a God in heaven who made all things. He created you, he put his image inside of you. And Jesus Christ is the revelation of him. He came to earth. And in his incarnation, he points to every single part of our life and he says mine because he's Lord. And that's what it means when we say Jesus is Lord. So purge the guilt. The reality is we've all sinned against his Lordship. We've all tried to usurp his majesty, whether in thought, word, or deed, whether in sins of commission or omission, that by the things we've done or by the things we've left undone. Christ came to earth. He says, love your neighbor as yourself. We haven't done that. He says, you shall love the Lord your God with everything in you, all of your faculties. And we haven't done that either. The reality is God is a just judge, a high king above all gods. And for his justice to be perfect, he must pour out wrath and vengeance against evildoers. Consider how a judge here on earth is unjust for letting a criminal go aside. How much more so with God, the judge of heaven and earth, does his justice demand punishment? The reality is if God wiped out all the evil on this earth, he'd have to get rid of me and you. But God, in his infinite mercy, and wisdom has provided a way of escape, a propitiation. That means he has satisfied wrath. His wrath was put on the person of Jesus of Nazareth, who 2,000 years ago came to this earth, lived the perfect life that we couldn't live, and died the death that we couldn't bear. And though our sins were scarlet, as red as the abortion that is caused by this culture of death, as red as the, the, the bloody fetus that is poured out in, in, our, in our nation, in, in our streets. They can be made as white as wool, as white as snow. God said in his word, turn to me all the ends of the earth and be saved, for I am God and there is no other. Friends, don't look to yourself. Don't look to your church or to your pastor. Yes, God has instituted them. But if you are not converted, if Christ is not your Lord, or rather if you're not walking in that truth because he is Lord already over all, you need to bow down on your knee and, and, and face your maker. The reality is everyone tries to worship something. The question is not whether we worship something, the question is who we worship. Are we gonna worship the created ourselves or are we gonna worship the creator, God in heaven? and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. So how do we purge this guilt? First, we can't purge the guilt in our land from the Holocaust of abortion without purging the guilt in ourselves, without purging the sin in our own camp, so to speak. Dear friend, if you're an unbeliever watching this video saying, huh, you had cool, cool graphics and I, I don't know, you got those posters everywhere all over Fort Wayne, but now you're talking about Jesus, that's crazy. Dear friend, Jesus is your only hope in life and in death. And he said, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Learn from me. Seek the living God. Learn from Jesus Christ. Only the Christian world you can provide the absolutes that we use every single day when we live our life. This is the message. Abortion is murder. But friends, you don't need to murder or sacrifice your child anymore. There has been an offering the, the bleeding sacrifice of the living God, Jesus Christ, testifies to the salvation of sinners and nations if they would only turn to him. Don't murder preborn children. Don't murder at all. Trust in the murdered one, the, the risen one who now reigns and rules. And there's not a single brick in this building which he can't point to and say mine because he's Lord over all. And God now commands all men everywhere to repent. And that's the truth because he is coming and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. And on that day, on judgment day, all your sins will be laid before you. 
every single child you aborted will testify against you. God will bring them one by one and, and show forth the crime. Every time you've hated the, the immigrant or sojourner here in Fort Wayne, every time you, you've watched pornography, and if you, do not, if you are not clothed in the perfect righteousness of the Lamb of God, you will be destroyed, and God will rain fire and sulfur upon you. But if you be would believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and confess with your mouth that he is Lord, you will be saved. Friends, what must you do to be saved? Believe in him who credits faith as righteousness. Repent and believe the gospel. Turn to Christ today.